Meet LaMelo Ball, 6'7 point guard. He is projected to go number one in the 2020 NBA draft. This man right here could hoop. Obviously the brother of Lonzo and LiAngelo Ball. High school sensation. That one play that really put him over the top was that half court shot. He pointed at the line, pulled it, and hit it. That's just unmatched, bro. Currently a member of the Illawarra Hawks in the NBL, which is an Australian basketball league. We are here to do a my career of LaMelo Ball. The long-awaited my career of LaMelo Ball. Previously, we did a Taco Fall career. That lasted 77 episodes, man. 77, that's a baffling number. If you want to check out any of my previous my careers, the link to every playlist will be in the description down below if you're interested in that. I did LeBron, Lonzo. Now we're doing LaMelo. We did Taco, Zion, John Morant. Check those out. But it's time to do a LaMelo Ball my career. He's going to start from the bottom. We're going to make him work his way to the top. There's an upgrade system for this that no one else is using. We can eventually make LaMelo Ball into a demigod, which is what we did in the Taco Fall series, man. This isn't like my career where there are caps and stuff. No, we can upgrade whatever we want. And how this upgrade system works is you enter the stats that you accumulated for a game and based on that performance you get experience points. And with those experience points you can upgrade any attribute you want, any badges you want. It's it's just, it's so fun. You guys are gonna want to stick around for this series. So LaMelo Ball, here he is on the Illawarra Hawks roster. He's a 91 overall. This is not going to be his overall when he enters the NBA. This is just what his overall is compared to everybody else in this league. He is, he is one of the best players in this league. And in this episode, we're going to be playing the final game of the NBL season before the draft. LaMelo Ball is going to want to show out to potentially lock himself as the number one overall pick. And in the final game of the NBL season, the Illawarra Hawks are facing off against the Sydney Kings. And of course, the one notable they have in their lineup, Andrew Bogut. He's going to be out there protecting that rim. It's going to be tough to drive in on them. But ladies and gentlemen, before I do hop into this final game of the NBL season, I just want to say if you are new to the channel, welcome, first of all. Hope you enjoy your stay. If you are new here, I do want you to hit that subscribe button while also hitting that video notifications bell so you don't miss out on future episodes of this LaMelo Ball series. It's going to be fun. It's going to be insane. Also, a thumbs up from you would be greatly appreciated. 1,000 likes is the goal for this episode leave a thumbs up if you do end up enjoying it is time to play the final game of the NBL season before the NBA draft and we'll see what team LaMelo gets drafted to but here we go the Illawarra Hawks against the Sydney Kings this season has been a giant one I, I thought they'd be an improved team here we go LaMelo Ball is going to want to show out in this game to increase that draft stock let's see what he has in his bag let's get a screen let's see what lamello could do with the screen an early drive and an early slam for lamello ball lamello defending where good defense bogey with the ball swings it to newly newly if he passes oh he's going for the cut I was going to get that steal. I might get this one, though. The steal. LaMelo tips it. Where has the force? Get the board. LaMelo with the snag. LaMelo taking the ball down the court. Who's going to be open behind the back? Dribble spin. I didn't mean to shoot that. Let's relax. Shooter's getting open. We tried to get that steal. If it goes back to where it could be a steal, Lish has the open fadeaway mid-range. Bo gets down there. We get the board right through him. Let's see who's going to be open. We see Ogilvy in the paint. First assist. Screen to LaMelo in the corner. He had the space. Let's see if we can get by him. The spin. The hop. He's too quick for him. The slam again. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a back seat. For the three. Doesn't go that time. So for the Good board. LaMelo. Beyond the back. Spin one more. Boone in the paint. Another assist. And take it inside. Let's see what these plays are all about. Brooks not open in the corner. Blanchfield off the screen, though. He's getting the rescreen. Can he make something happen? Takes it all the way. That was actually a good take. But he ends up missing the layup. 
Let's see what this play is. Can someone get open? Blanchfield is open off the screen. Can he hit the deep two or three? No, he actually misses. The selling begins. Where? That's 4% covered. I thought I was right in his face. He does end up missing though. One more. Lamelo in the post. Lamelo. Is this taco fall? Lamelo with the drop step. Bogut misses the block. I want a screen. Let's do that. Aggressive behind the back. And we have the lane. Let's lob it up. Oh, Bogut. And his, of course, Bogut's seven footer misses. Can we get the chase down? Lish misses the layup. All right, we're right back on the break. We're right back on the break. Lamelo, pull up mid range. Ogilvy cleans it up off the mark. Boone, we got rebounders. The screen, Lamelo, step back mid range. Green. Where deep three pointer. We see Blanchfield. Blanchfield pull up mid. No, he takes it all the way for my third assist. We're reading Ware's movements. We're trying to get the steal. Ware. Oh, the drive by Lish. I'm helping too much. He doesn't see where he gets blocked. It's their ball with 3.9 seconds left to shoot. 3.9 seconds. Gives it to Lish. Lish has the force. I'm boxing out Bogut. Good board by Ogilvy. I want to see him keep cutting. Fake it and then give it to him. In the paint. Threading the needle. Another assist. Let's see what this play goes. Ogilvy setting me to screen. Lamelo spin. We got him falling. The green. We're on the ground. Great check in for the king. You can just see the passion. Look at this move by Lamelo. The spin jumper got where slipping. He touched earth, and Lamelo just straight up drains the shot. Unreal move right here by Lamelo. And it all mattered because he did hit the shot. The screen for Lamelo. He's going all the way up. Can he get some separation from where he does the step back again? It's no good this time. Where driving in at Lamelo. That is not the wisest decision. Great defense there from Lamelo. Who's going to be open? We see Ogilvy in the paint. What a pass. Almost got the end one. All right, you might see some NBA players check into the game specifically from the Canes roster. But I have no control over that. They just sub it on their own. Brooks greens it at the buzzer and gets my assist. This just makes it even challenging for us. But we're still up 10 against the Sydney Kings in the final game of the NBA. Back on defense, we see the corner though. We're also going to help against the drive. There goes Ware. What a take by Ware and the finish. Lish needs all the screens he could get. He finds Bogut. We're there helping. Oh, that's a that's a flagrant foul on Ogilvy. Bogut getting his revenge. I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> the Kings have gone one for two on the night. So what is that switch? Come on, bro. That was the most unnecessary switch, and we give up a three-pointer. We need a timeout. They came back. All of a sudden, we are down by five. Let's keep things simple and get the screen. To separate us from where it gives us the lane. Another slam for LaMelo Ball. Oh, no. Go through the screen. Newly wide open mid-range. We're crashing. They're not missing now. Their offense is in a groove right now. We got to try to get some stops. Stepping it back out where? Deep three-pointer from LaMelo. We just can't get anything going right now. It was a screen. They're doubling LaMelo. We see Boone. Boone, a mid-range shot. It's a green. Thank you. Sixth assist. Where? Contested shot. Good good closeout. And we're on the break. Let's go. LaMelo taking a floater. That should be good. Of course it is. He's just dribbling around. Three seconds. Two. One. He has to force. Everybody crash with Bogut down there. You never know. LaMelo. Snags the board. We see Brooks. Brooks cutting. Brooks all the way with the layup. 
Yep, we get the interception. Brooks, keep going. Brooks, take it all the way. No, he really missed that. Come on, Aaron Brooks. We're back on defense. Oh, where? Got us. The chase down by LaMelo. Himself on that play. Ware picks up his dribble. Once again, a great defensive possession. Let's drive it. We're there. Look at that help defense by everybody. Everybody. LaMelo. Open three green. LaMelo has his sharp takeover. Perhaps a stop right here. And we're going to pull up in transition from deep. But first of all, we need a stop. Lish getting the screens. I'm helping. Good help defense. He gets the and one. Lamelo with the board. Lamelo taking it down the court. We're not going to force anything, but if we're open, we're taking it. A green. Bogut setting the screen. I need help. Yep. Good recovery. Good defense. The block. We can't get the board. Ogilvy, that's your. You got another flagrant. And that's your fifth foul. And he's out. And we don't have uh, an actual. Illawarra Hawk replacement. This is only a five-man roster. All right, let's run a play right here. The screen from Boone. Now Boone, they're doubling, fake it, and give it to Jones. This doubling is not working out for them. That's nine assists. All right, Lamelo took a seat the entire third quarter. He's back into a fourth. We are down by 17. I think it's time for LaMelo to take over. Goes right through the screen, takes it at Bogut, and finishes the layup. Let's get the screen. Let's do explosive behind the back. We got the blow by. We drew the foul. Well, that's five on Bogut. If we get him out the game, that's actually big. Oh, man, the free throw differential in this game is crazy. Can we get the blow by on Ware? No, Ware is sticking us. But we see Blanchfield in the corner. You can't miss another one, but he does. We get the steal, though. What a way to make up for that miss with the and one finish. Should have been a foul. Give me that interception again. LaMelo again. Let's do a little teardrop. It's only an eight-point game. LaMelo leading them back with his defense. Oh, we wanted to get another one. We're driving. What a finish. That's a foul on me. I'm not going to take away from the finish, though. Beautiful finish from Casper Ware. The double's coming. We see Blanchfield again. Wide open in the corner. That's a green light. And there's the 10th rebound. There's the triple-double for LaMelo. We see Brooks at the top of the key. That's another green. Okay. Slowly making a push back. Let's see who's going to be open. Blanchfield always open. You got to capitalize. Now he hits him. Tough loss right here in the final game of the NBL season. Now Blanchfield wants to get his takeover. When the game is over, we lose by seven in LaMelo's final game. Where will he get drafted? So the Kings win it. They seem to relish their role as the bad guy here tonight. You know, Kevin, I sense that as well. I mean, they really did feed off all of that negative energy this crowd was directing at them. I mean, they turned it around and used it as motivation to close out a significant win. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg you know, LaMelo did his thing out there in his final game, 37 points, 10 boards, 15 assists, the triple-double, of course, four steals, and even two blocks. Shot efficiently from three, could have done better. Was a plus four when he was on the court, but when he sat out that third quarter, that's when everything went downhill. Blanchfield actually was the second leading scorer at 24. Boone had 12 with 15 boards. Brooks had 10. And Ogilvy fouled out early in the game, and he had 11 boards at the time. Casper Ware dropping 51 points, played 41 minutes, even though there's only 40 minutes in that game. He played the whole game. Lish had 26 and 13. Bogut, yup, 24 boards with five blocks. Tate had 10 and 10. Newly, 9 and 3. And the Kings get the best of LaMelo Ball and the Hawks. Social media recognizes LaMelo Ball's performance. We got Will Kane tweeting about it. And of course, the Illawarra Hawks Twitter is tweeting about it. That great triple-double 
in a loss, however, but it was his final game in the NBL. Probably increase his draft stock. We'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for the opening episode of the LaMelo Ball My Career. In the next episode, you're not going to want to miss it. The NBA Draft. Where will LaMelo Ball end up in the NBA? You're not going to want to miss it, like I said. And he's not going to be a 91 overall starting in the NBA next episode. He's going to get drafted. We're going to make his NBA debut. And we're going to use the upgrade system, which you'll see how that works. But hopefully you did enjoy this opening episode. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on that bell. Must watch episode in the next one. Hope to see you there. But until then, I'm out.